Okay, today I think is May 29th, and uh, it's been raining for three days, and there's the perpetrator, the cat, Mistletoon. She's just come out of the garden, which I saw her from the kitchen window, so I thought I'd best get out here and see what she did, and of course, once again, she was in the beets down there. I just want to show you. So a week later, <clears throat> my radishes are doing fine. More radishes in there that I just planted. The parsnips are in between. They haven't come up. They're slow to germinate. Onions are doing great. Uh, the peas have grown about five inches. Broccoli's gotten bigger. Nothing on the broccoli yet. A few holes, but I don't see any critters. Beets are doing great. There are patches where the cats have been. Now I'm, now I'm, now I'm using rocks, so I'm going to hunt for rocks to put in between. <clears throat> I'd like to put more grass, but uh, Charlie hasn't mowed lately, so... And most of the grass now has so many dandelion seeds in it, I don't think I want that grass. So anyway, here we go. And there's my chair. And then turning here is my patchwork mess of carrots, which I... Ay, yeah, yeah, I have to weed and plant some more in between because the cats got in there and I never filled in the patches. And my spinach is doing beautifully, although I have to thin it out and transplant. Actually, right now is a good time to transplant because it stopped raining and the uh, soil is friable. It's not soggy. And there's my mescaline mix. I have to start giving it away to friends. And down there is the Swiss chard, which I did thin out. Um, so that's doing beautifully. And um, some nasturtiums that I planted in there. And I have hanging yellow and orange nasturtiums. And here, well, there aren't any beans showing yet. They're, they're going to be a while because the soil has to warm up. In my herb garden, everything's doing beautifully there. I've planted some seeds of flowers in between the herbs. And my big potato bed right there, under about 10 inches of grass and hay, which got sort of smushed down from the rain. Over there are my holes, still in limbo, because uh, I don't want to plant my tomatoes just yet. You just don't know. And... Um, Anyway, let me show you right here. As I said, this is, look at that beautiful spinach plant. That's going to get to be about two feet high. But right in here is called, I think it's called sheep bane. I can't really remember, but right here, you can eat this. I'm going to eat it right now. Very good. Thank you. We always say thank you for the dear little plant that gave its life to sustain yours. Here's another right there. And still. But anyway, I'm going to thin this out a little bit. And, uh, anyway, isn't that gorgeous? Look at that spinach. Beautiful. Um, if you cook spinach, you have to have a lot of spinach because it cooks down to nothing. But I just like to eat it raw in salads and soups. Right? And, and actually, that mescaline mix I throw in a lot of soups. So I'm not a gigantic salad eater, but I like my greens. So this is the garden. And, uh, this is the update. And, uh... That's it for now. Bye-bye.